Hey guys, hello everyone. This is Narul Huda and I am a verified educator at an online learning platform that is an academy. You can access my videos over there as well. So if you are preparing for CSIR NET, GATE or IIT JAM, any of these exams, you can access my videos over there as well. These are going to be very helpful in your preparation, right? So uh, to in order to access my videos, what you have to do, you have to download this an academy learning app and you can search for my name that is Nuruluda or you can go directly to my profile from the link given in the description that's all for this let's continue with the video hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so in this particular video I'm going to give you a brief introduction of the overview of uh, whatever you are going to get in the gate 2019 so this is going to be the this is going to give you a brief introduction to the interface of uh, the test uh, of the of the exam how you are going to get to see and where you are going to get the questions where the calculator is and also i'm going to explain that how the calculator works like this is very important for many of you who are like first timers and who are going to give this exam for the first time this is important to know because uh, if you know in, in advance then in, then when you go for the exam when you sit in the exam you will not face that much difficulty okay so you can open this link from this uh, this uh, like gate.iitm.ac.in so you will get this page and over here you can see that there is an option to go for mock exam okay so just go for this mock exam practice and to go for chemistry because we are all chemist over here and what I, what you have to do you, ju you just have to sign in so when you will go for exam all these login detail and password all these things will be told like these will be told by, uh, to you by the invigilator over there and you have to just fill them and just sign in over here like this so a new window will open like this and this will be show you how the uh, like how the exam will be okay so in the first time you will get general instructions so this is how and you have not visited any question it will look something like this when you have not answered any question it will look in orange color when you have answered a question it will look in green in color and if you have not answered the question but you have marked the question for review it will look in this blue color purple color and if you have like answered the question and also marked it for review then it will look like this purple plus this green color right so these are certain things which uh, which uh, the invigilator also will tell you and you have to read all these things okay the general instruction so you can read it over there in the exam also there is a lot of like plenty of time to do that and you just have to go next over here your name and your photograph will be there okay and to start you have to just click over here and i'm ready to begin so in the exam you will be told everything by the invigilator by now okay so this is how it will look so you will get your questions over here like this as you can see over here so on the right uh, on the left hand side the full screen is for your questions on the right side this uh, this is the over here you will get to see your in your name and your photo here are the things like the keys given to you that like i have just visited question number one and i haven't answered it so as soon as i will answer and as soon as i will uh, go to the next one okay so uh, although yeah so when you will go to the next one it will just sh show you that you have not answered the first one what you have to do you have to just answer and save and next then it will be like then this question will be marked as answered okay so these are the minor things which i am just telling you now uh, you can see the whole question paper from here so uh, you can like switch from general aptitude to chemistry part over here you will get chemistry questions and here general aptitude questions and uh, yeah so these are the things now whole question paper can be accessible from this you can just click over here to access whole question paper you can see how many questions are there and uh, like yeah so a brief in, like you can just look upon to all the questions from this from by clicking over here right now these are these are the instruction whatever instruction you have just read before clicking uh, to the agree like before coming into this this page those instructions are over here so if you missed out some instruction you can read out during the exam time also now useful data are given over here the the values of few constants like your Avogadro constant is there Planck constant is there mass of an electron and other like important constants are given to you okay so these are the things which is already given like the data which is given to you in CSI net also similarly get people also give you these datas right okay so yeah so if you will click this it will go to the uh, full screen mode now press escape to come back and yeah so these are the things right now where is your calculator calculator is over here this uh, this slight or yellow color so this is your calculator over here, right so basically this is a full scientific calculator you can 
you can do all the scientific operation all the equations which you come across in your in your csi net so you can solve all of these equations using this particular calculator right so i'll just show you that how to use this calculator in order to perform a certain equation in order to solve a certain given equation right so i'll just tell you the basic uh, like what are the basic um, expression which you can solve over here the basic things which you can calculate so if you can see this calculator over here like if you want to take let's say if you want to take square of something okay so let's take we want to take square of 2 so just uh, write 2 and then do x square then it will give you square of 2 right so this is how it will be done As again if you want to take cube of 5 let's say so just write 5 first then x cube so it will give you cube of 5 so whatever term you want to take and whatever express like whatever operation you want to do on it you have to give the numerical term first and then the uh, then that particular uh, operation right so if you want to take log 8 so just write 8 and then take log so it will give you log base 10 8 okay so this is the uh, log base 10 now you want to take uh, the natural log of 8 so that will be like uh, yeah so it will be ln 8 so it will give you something like this so this is how you have to do now uh, these are the basic things okay so, uh, the advanced things like uh, log x uh, to the like log base y x these things you don't have to worry because these you are not going to solve in the exam okay these are these things will not come across to you in exam okay now let's say you want to take under root of something so let's say you have to take under root of 25 so just write 25 and then take a square root of it okay so that will give you 5 and always press equal that will give you the answer okay always press equal at the end then to get the answer okay so these are the basic things which i'm going to tell you i'll also solve a question and to tell you that how to use when you have more than one expressions so let's say uh, let's say you have you have to take a square root of 5 like square root of 25 and plus square of 5 okay so how to do that so just write first of all just make a bracket okay so now write 5 and take a square root of it so that will give you square root of 5 then bracket close so this over here over here your your equation will be written okay so square root of 5 and what you are adding so just write add and then you are taking square of 5 right so write 5 and then take square of it so square root of 5 plus square of 5 and when you will press equal then you will get the answer so the correct answer will be 27.23 Six zero. So like that, you have to do. Let's say you have to take, like you have to multiply ten. You have to multiply ten with log of. So you have to take a bracket first. Write like let's say you have to take ten into log of five. So write five first and then take log. So it will become ten into log five. Okay, and then close the bracket and then press equal. So this will be the answer six point nine eight nine seven. So this is how you have to do the basic. Uh, calculation the basic uh, like the basic mathematical operations right so these were the basic things and these are the only things which will uh, which you will uh, come across during this calculation you don't have to worry about this sine inverse cos inverse or sine theta let's say you have to uh, like whenever you will come across sine inverse there also you will have to do the same thing let's say you have like 20 and you have sine inverse 20 you will write sine inverse 20 and that will be 20 in degree okay so that's why it is written degree if you have a uh, data in radian then you have to uh, write it in radian radian is what when the data is in like pi by 3 or pi by 4 those are in radians whereas when you are given with like 20 degree 30 degree then the data is in degree so from here you can switch like degree and radian okay so these are the basic things right so yeah so you just have to uh, see look upon to these things like ln are there and e to the power x and these things and this much you don't have to worry about whatever the things are over here basically you will come across mathematical calculation in your physical chemistry especially in your electrochemistry then your uh, your uh, that chemical kinetics so basically these two are the more uh, the chapters are there and also the thermodynamics so these are the three chapters where you will get more of your numericals okay so I'll do one question from your uh, chemical kinetics to show you that how these things work, right? Right. So I'll just solve this particular question and I'll show you that how to use calculator in order to do 
mathematical operations and to solve this particular question right so this question was asked in your uh, gate 2018 and the question was like the for a radioactive isotope of iodine the time required for 50 percent disintegration is given to you as eight days and the time required for 99.9% .9 disintegration of 5.5 gram of iodine you have to calculate so basically they have given you 50% disintegration means they have given you half lifetime and half lifetime is 8 days right and they have also told you that the initial concentration the, the amount of uh, uh, radioactive isotope which you are given with is 5.5 gram and you have to calculate that uh, after how much time 99.9% .9 of it will be disintegrated okay so this question is from nuclear chemistry and it will follow the same uh, like trend how you do in the question of your chemical kinetics okay using your Nernst equation okay so we'll do this and we'll see that how to do right so I have just done few things over here so yeah so we have this equation that is lambda is equals to 2.303 upon t log n naught upon n where lambda is your decay constant uh, t is the time and n naught is the initial concentration and n is the final concent uh, final concentration or the final number of nuclei initial number of nuclei now it is given to you in the question that is n naught that is initial one is 5.5 gram now the final one will be how much it says that it is 99.9% .9 disintegrated so it will be like initial minus 99.9% .9 of initial okay so 5.5 .5 minus 99.9 .9 upon 100 into 5.5 .5. so this is how it is to be done and I know that uh, all of you guys know about it right so I've just written it in the way it is and we'll see that how to use calculator to solve this particular equation and we'll see that how and what we are going to get so how to do this so first of all um, yeah so when we'll write this equation so we'll use this first of all we have 5.5 .5, so we'll just write 5.5 .5. then we have then what we were having minus right so we'll just write down minus so we'll just write minus then we are having bracket so write down bracket like this so it is bracket and it is very like you have to be very careful when you have when you are given with any fraction when you have to deal with any fraction uh, put that fraction in a separate uh, bracket okay so i'll just draw one more bracket that will be for this fraction okay so 99.99.9 .99 divided by that will be like divided by 100 okay and the bracket will be closed so i have just closed what which bracket i have closed i have closed the bracket for this fraction okay now i have to multiply with 5.5 .5. so i'll just write multiply with 5.5 .5. right and again i will close the bracket and now i have closed this bracket which is the first one okay so this bracket is now closed so now i have written the whole equation and i'll just press equal sign and this will give you the answer for it so what i'm going to get is 0 0.0055 so that means the final concentration or the final um, uh, number of radioactive nuclei or final weight of radioactive nuclei is nothing but 0 0.0055 so this is what we got for n is equals to 0 0.0055 now we have to calculate t half uh, sorry t half is given to you we have to calculate lambda that is the decay constant so this is the equation that is t half is equals to 0 0.693 upon lambda so lambda will be equal to 0 0.693 upon 8 so 8 is the t half i have just replaced both of them i have put lambda over there and uh, like i have uh, taken down t half over here so this will be like 0 0.693 divided by 8 so again use so we'll just write 0 0 0.693 and we'll divide it by 8 so this is what we will get so we'll get 0 0.0866 or 0 0.086 okay so i'll just write it down like this so t half like lambda i got 0 0.086 so now i'll just calculate t and this is the final answer which i'm going to calculate so i'll use that equation that is 2.303 upon lambda log n naught upon n all the values i know so i'll use that value to calculate this one okay so yeah so yeah so when you will put all these things so it will come out to be 2.303 upon 0 0.086 log 5.5 upon 0 0.0055 so see how to calculate this now so what i will do first of all what i was having i was having 2.303 upon 0 0.086 so just put bracket first mm, then write 0. Uh, sorry 2. 
2.3 close the bracket after that we were having multiply okay because this was multiplied with logarithmic term right so we'll multiply and we'll write log okay so if you'll write log then see this is not the correct answer this has taken the answer as your log and it, it has written all the thing wrong okay so whenever you come across these kind of thing this is the mistake which people do and this is how they are not able to use this okay so how to do this now first of all take log first okay whatever the term it is given to you in log that take that log uh, value first so what was there in log so 5.5 .5 divided by 0 0.0055 right so just draw the bracket then 5.5 .5 divided by 0 0.0055 and bracket close okay then press equal so this is what you are going to get thousand now take log of it so this will be log thousand okay now since this logarithmic term is in a multiplication of it so you can just multiply with it so just write multiply and the other term is in take every uh, fractional term in bracket so what was that it was 2.303 so 2.303 divided by divided by 0 0.086 okay so 0 0.086 close the bracket equal sign so this will be the answer 80.3372 3, so this will be the answer and this is how you can calculate so the correct option over here will be your 80.3372 right so i hope that now it is clear to you that how to use calculator you can practice a lot of things because this mock test is already there on on this website on gate official website so you can go over there you can practice a lot of things and you can see that are you able to use this uh, calculator or not because uh, it is very important to understand how to how the scientific calculator works right so that's all for this video i hope i was clear it in it if you want to ask anything you can ask me in the comment section and thank you so much for watching have a great day